So this group break, we're here in Sina Warren, Halen Island. We've taken 22 RAF veterans away with us this week, um, hopefully to build friendships, to have some fun um, and be around people. When you're part of the forces, it's like one big family. They do really look out for each other. And then meeting up with them, even though you may never have met them before, feel that you're not kind of a stranger in the camp. The community engagement workers work with those members of the RAF family who are lonely and isolated for multiple reasons. Many of them are bereaved or have mobility issues. It's far too easy to be insular and when the Benevolent Fund got involved with me they really have helped me to mix and get on with my life again. It gives them an opportunity to get peer-to-peer -peer support but also build friendships. Hopefully what we've also done is we bring people together from a geographical location. So long after this break is finished, hopefully they can swap numbers on the break, they can swap addresses and they can carry on their friendships after this break is over. You can just start a conversation and all of a sudden there's just something you all click. We've all had similar experiences, don't matter where we were in the world. I met Lisa and uh, she advised me of the break which of course we're having here, an absolutely wonderful break. It's, it's having the company of, of other people and uh, being able to discuss our problems, you know, with each other. The RF Benevolent Fund really helps people, especially if they can't get about at all, you know, and I'd like to say a big thank you for the Benevolent Fund for supporting people that can go away, which can't normally go away, you know. Well, if you're an RAF veteran who's suffering from loneliness or isolation, or in fact, if you are a family member of a veteran who's suffering with loneliness and isolation, if you visit our website, you'll see a range of initiatives for all our veteran community, including the group Wellbeing Breaks.